Hey everyone, it's Brett here with The Tuning School. Today I'm joined by our lead foreign instructor, Tony Ganyan, and on this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of pre-programmed or canned tunes. Now, before we dive in to the actual pros and cons, Tony, why don't you explain a little bit to the audience exactly what a can tuned is and kind of where it comes from? Well, the manufacturer or even a tuner or a company who's selling tunes may, may have a cold air kit that they want to sell a tune for. Uh, that, can, that cold air kit needs a tune to make it work. So they'll make a tune that works through the new platform with that cold air kit. That doesn't include a tune for the exhaust, that's just the cold air kit. The can tune covers that base, meaning that is a tune. Think of it as a, think of it as a can of beans. You buy a can of beans in the, in the supermarket, you bring it home, do you normally just throw the beans in the pan and cook it? No, you're gonna add some salt or you're gonna add something to it. That's the part where it goes from the can tune to the custom tune. Gotcha. So the can tune is really going to be designed for more of your stock or lightly modified vehicles, it sounds like, which kind of brings us to pro number one, right? Absolutely. Looking at this in the, a way of a manufacturer, we actually want to make sure a tune is safe for all the applications with that cold air kit, if that's what we're building, or the exhaust kit. So we have to put together that a safe tune for it. And it sounds like what you're needing in that situation is a more predictable vehicle, right? And so a stock vehicle or a lightly modified vehicle, cold air intake and exhaust, is gonna be very predictable. And when you start getting into some of the more advanced setups or some of the more custom setups, that's what brings us to our first con, right? So our first con is custom setups require custom tunes. So reality is if you wanna do things like very specific internal engine work, superchargers, stuff like that, you're gonna start mixing and matching a bunch of different parts and canned tunes aren't really an option for you anymore at that point. And so, especially when we talk about even swaps, right? If you wanna have a swap, that's a massive conglomeration of parts and so it's hard to find a good canned tune that's gonna work with something like that unless when you are building it, you're building it for that tune. And so that's where things start to get a little sticky and so that makes perfect sense. With that being said, we can actually set this up for multiple applications. The cold air kit may work on a 2011 through 14 Mustang. So any customer who has that or 15 through 17, that cold air kit and the can tune is designed for it, gives them the capability of loading the tune and being driving right off the bat. Right, so you've got multiple years at that point, as long as you've got the similar vehicle, same engine, same ECU, you've now got multiple years you can work with. And something that even may work as well, if let's say the tune was for a air raid cold air intake, it may also work fairly well with a JLT. It may not be perfect, but because they're kind of generic in nature, you can add a little bit of room for variance there where you can mix and match a little bit of different specific parts and the tune may not be that far off. Well, that leaves some horsepower on the table. So we need to address that. When you do a can tune, you actually make it safer across all the applications. And to be honest with you, if you didn't do that, we'd have no can tunes. We'd be tearing up everything. So with that being said, we leave some horsepower on the table to keep it on the safer side. Yeah, so where that's a con for the can tune, a custom tune, that would obviously be the opposite, right? So where you're gonna leave some horsepower on the table with a can tune, a custom tune, a custom tuner, can tune that engine exactly for the conditions that it wants, exactly for the uh, operating environment it's gonna be in, and then also even to the driving style of the customer. And so it's gonna be a lot more customizable and a custom and experienced custom tuner can really push that engine to its full potential where a manufacturer or a tuner doesn't really have the ability to do that with a mass application tune like a can tune. With that being said, we can actually use our templates, our template applicators or value files, depending on whose software we're using, at that point. Most of them have been built by custom tuners and have been proven uh, many times over the years. So you could use that template or that value file to actually build a nice safe tune, but for the specific application that you're using. Right, so it's kind of like a go-between where you've got your canned tunes, which is more mass application, you've got your full custom, but then there's like this middle ground. It's almost what we refer to a lot of times in the industry as the copy paste tune, right? So it's a tune a custom tuner has done before or seeing a lot of, right? And he's gonna take that and put it into a vehicle because reality is a lot of times we're not required to tune a car from scratch every single time if it's got the same Brian Tooley stage three camshaft and the same injectors and all this stuff. 
we can use, like you said, template applicator value files. And so it's a great go-between between, between full custom and full can. And it makes it much, much easier and much more precise than a Cantoon. Absolutely. So another pro of the Cantoon, however, is going to be cost effectiveness and that it's less time consuming. And so when you're looking at a Cantoon, it's going to get an individual, let's say a tuner's not involved and I'm just a guy that put an exhaust and a you know cold air on my Mustang, it's going to get me from a car that runs badly to a car that runs well in about five minutes, right? So it's very, very... Uh, time effective and it's also cost effective as well because typically a custom tune can cost a little bit more coin. So if you're going with the can tune route, you typically can get there much quicker. But even if you are a tuner and your customer does have a very uh, good application to apply a can tune to it, you as the tuner can save a bunch of time by just going right for a can tune for your customer and saving that time is going to save the tuner money. Reality is, right? Because now you can do more cars in the day and so on. So oftentimes we're seeing that these can tunes are very cost effective and a very time conscious option for most people. Well, it may be cost effective, and but in the real world, we have different environments we have to deal with. So let's say the customer's in Colorado and he's at 7,000 foot altitude. And guess what? That tune's not going to work the same. So we have to address that. That's where the can tune and the custom tune at that point would differ. Yeah, so if you have an extreme environment that you live in, Colorado's one, maybe Arizona where it's really hot, even Alaska where it's really cold, in a more drastic environment, it might not work as good. Each of those will affect it. So Tony, now that we've gone over these pros and cons, in your opinion, what do you think the best option truly is? In the end, a custom tune is gonna be your best option. Uh, however, using the templates or your value files is going to get you 99% of the time really close. The final uh, icing on the cake would be a custom tune. Yeah, absolutely. But that doesn't necessarily discount the canned tunes because if you're going to have something that's a little bit more generic, you can still do it. But if you're looking for the most horsepower and the most performance, custom tune is the way to go, right? Custom tune. All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tech Tuesday. Make sure you follow us on social media for more high-performance tuning knowledge, and as always, stay tuned.